Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over this really cool warped edges effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is what the final edit looks like right here. Now, in case you're wondering, this effect is part of a pack that actually is a plugin, so you actually have to separately download it. Um, and it does cost money, it costs about $20, and it's called the Ryan Nagel um, New Wave Bundle. So, yes, it does cost money, but I honestly think it's worth it. And don't worry, it, this is not the only effect that comes with the pack right here. So, let's open up the effects panel right here, and I'll head over here. To the Ryan Nagel New Way Bundle, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different effects as well as transitions. I definitely personally really, really like um, this pack. So I'm going to go ahead and just play again. This is what the effect, or this is what the final edit looks like right here. So I'm going to go over here to the example right here. And of course, this is what it looks like when you tear away all the effects. Obviously, it's not as cool as when it has all of the effects. So let's go ahead and first of all, apply the lens distortion right here. Now this lens distortion is technically the warped edges effect right here. So let's go ahead and apply the lens distortion right here. As you can see right here, it already kind of has the edges a little bit warped right here. As you can see, this is um, before and then after right here. Now what I like to do is I like to go to the RGB split and I like to turn the RGB split all the way up to 100 right here so the rgb split is up to 100 and then i'll turn the rgb split fade to zero right here that's personally the look um, that i like to go for now in terms of the lens distortion mount i'll go ahead and just crank it all the way up right here but the look that i like to go for is usually anywhere between 30 and 50 um, i would say maybe 40 is uh, 45 is probably um, a good happy medium. I think that probably looks pretty good. So you can go ahead and kind of copy these settings um, the RGB split to 100 and the RGB split fade um, to 0 and the lens distortion amount to 45. Now I also like to take a VHS effect and apply the VHS effect onto the video right here and this is what the final edit looks like right here. Now we can go ahead and just copy these over to these two clips right here. So just press shift command V and let's go ahead and paste both of those effects to both of the clips. Um, right here and wait for it to render a little bit and this is what the final edit looks like right here It's definitely a really really cool um, RGB film grain VHS effects with lens distortion. It's honestly a really cool um, effect I kind of just messed around with a whole bunch of different effects and this is the look that I went for uh, So again, this is my own like personal opinion. You don't have to make it uh, look exactly how I did how I did it, but I definitely personally uh, really like of this effect right here and this is basically what it looks like um, in the final edit right here it's definitely really kind of cool it's a simple small effect but I definitely think it'll add a little bit to your video if you add this for example you're gonna take this effect and let's just get rid of the lens distortion it looks cool but adding this lens distortion adding this RGB um, split fade is definitely a really cool effect I think it just spices up your videos and makes it look um, a lot better and especially if the camera is moving as you can see right here it creates really really cool kind of like 360 um, degree kind of effect I definitely personally like it. So again, click on it right here, add, uh, go to the Ryan Nagel New Wave Bundle right here. Go ahead and take the lens distortion and the VHS. So Ryan New Wave Bundle right here. And now what we're going to do is just apply the lens distortion, RGB split 100, RGB split phase 0, lens distortion amount, keep it at 32, and then add a VHS effect. And I think for this one, I increased it to 50 right here, and then I increased it to 50. So I would say in terms of the lens distortion amount, keep it anywhere between 30 and 50. I find that looks the best right there. But there you go. That's pretty much the effect right here. I just messed around with a whole bunch of different ideas and came up with this really cool um, warped RGB warped lens distortion um, effect right here. I definitely personally like it and hopefully you also really like um, this effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 160 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.
Thank you.